What's up folks, it's Christina here and I'm out on my local trails today. I'm gonna to show you some of my favorite rock rolls to practice on. And the cool thing about rock rolls is no matter if you're a beginner, intermediate or advanced rider, you could always benefit from a little bit of practice. If you change the conditions on track, everything changes on the rock. So let's go head out, find some rocks. I'm gonna share with you a couple of safe but really effective tips to make your rock roll experience a whole lot better. Let's go. Cool guys, so before we start rocking and rolling, we wanna make sure the bike's ready for what we're about to get into. I like to start by shifting my gears down a bit. That way my derailleur cage is not fully extended when we're compressing at the bottom of the rock rolls. Also a good little tip is put your seat down. Last little tip I'll share with you, probably something not a lot of people mention, but tires make a huge difference. I have really grippy tires. Um, grip is where I get most of my confidence from. So a nice grippy tire is gonna grip onto the rock roll, but also a nice low pressure is gonna be good for extra grip as well. So do what you can with your bike setup, but make sure you're ready before you start riding the rock rolls. So we're just here checking out the run-in to our first rock roll. Always worth noting what is coming up. So the risk of this first run in here is that you could potentially go a little bit too fast. But worth noting the ground is quite grippy. It's a nice material that you can check your brakes. You can slow down a bit before you get to the big feature up ahead. And for me, I'm gonna use this little root feature here as my point of commitment. Now point of commitment is quite important, especially before you're gonna hit a notable feature because after this, you know that it's gonna get harder to stop, it's gonna be harder to gain control if you don't already have it. So by the time you get here, body position is perfect, your eyes are up, heels are dropped, and you're ready for the rock roll that's coming up. Coolio, so here we are on our first big rock roll. The run-in's quite nice. The rock itself is like pretty grippy, even though it's raining right now. Um, the rock is pretty grippy. It's really confidence inspiring. The dirt looks awesome. I know that as soon as I hit the dirt, I'm gonna be able to grab a bit of break and control my speed before I hit that right-hander. So I'm pretty excited. Eyes are gonna be up, focusing on making it out of the corner. Definitely gonna wanna remember to drop the heels on this one. So one thing to notice on this rock roll is it's not just one smooth plane. It does have a little bit of stepping action going on. Um, but it's gonna be quite nice because we already know that the rock's quite grippy here. So with the stepping, you just wanna make sure that you can let the bike ride over the rocks. You're not braking on them in that position. You're just kinda letting it ride out, but you're still in control because you have good body position. Super important, guys. Definitely wanna check the run out before you leap. You know what your mom always said, look before you leap, because if you don't, you probably wouldn't know that there's this nice dirt colored rock here just poking right out. It's right between the two lines on the rock roll, so you're gonna wanna make sure you know where you're going before you get to this point. We've got this 90 degree corner here. The dirt is really nice and grippy. You're gonna be able to apply pressure on both of the brakes to control your speed. As long as you're keeping your eyes up and you're ready for what's coming next on the trail, you should be ready to ride this right-hander out and then quite quickly after that, you've got a little lefty. Oh. Eyes are up, looking at the exit. Ah. Nice traction there, right after the rock, so you can gain control over your speed again. A common misconception is to throw your weight all the way back and just let the front wheel go up and over the rock. But really what you wanna do is have a nice center of gravity. That way, if something were to happen on the rock, you've still got a bit of movement there to play with. So your center of mass is roughly this portion of the body. You wanna make sure it's nice and centered in the bike as best possible. The way that I do that is I hinge forward at the waist and you can see as soon as I did that, my elbows came out. I'm in a really strong, solid push-up position. I have traction on my front wheel, my rear wheel. Both of my sets of brakes can work and I can also use my fork and my shock at the same time. I mean, it sounds crazy, but that's the ideal situation. 
And with that being said, it's also important to think about pushing into the pedals and dropping your heel. The more you're pushing in, the less bouncing around you're gonna do on the pedals, which would be quite dangerous if you do that on a rock roll. Uh, wouldn't recommend. So dropping the heels, pushing into those nice big platforms. And when I do that, it's kind of like a little trigger. It brings my eyes up, brings my chest up. I'm looking down the trail and I'm shreddy. So we're here on a new rock and we've got some different conditions to rocks that we've ridden before. This rock, super important to practice feathering, braking. Feathering your brakes is basically using all the benefits of braking, such as slowing down, controlling your speed, staying in control, but without the negative effects like locking up your brakes, getting your tires, uh, washing out, those sorts of things. So definitely using both your front and your rear brake on these rocks. Um, again, the center of gravity there is gonna make sure you've got traction on the front and the rear brake so that they're actually working. So feathering the brakes, it's just pulling the brakes ever so slightly so that they are working. They are slowing you down, controlling your speed. But as you can tell, like I'm still moving the bike forward. It's not until I lock up the brake, that's when you actually get the stopping. So feathering the brake, I'm still able to turn the wheels and then locking up. You can see that's just dragging right along. We noted earlier, it's pretty, it's a pretty grippy rock. So in comparison to, you know, the squishy kind of dirt that's next to it, it's a little bit wet, a little bit greasy right now. In this instance, I would actually choose the rock to do my braking because I know what it is. It's consistent. Um, it's going to be a good surface area to slow down, stay in control without worrying about sliding on the slippery stuff. So on this little rock roll line here, the line that I've chosen, it's really nice and grippy at the top. It's not super steep, but it does get steeper at the bottom. And it's worth noting that this little dirt patch in the middle, it's quite wet right now. So it's a little bit greasy. So rather than locking up my brakes and potentially sliding through that little section uncontrolled, I'll probably choose this time to let off the brakes. I know I'm in control. I know what's ahead. And then I'm ready to just ride out the exit there. And you know, mom always says safety third. So definitely don't pick the steepest part of the rock to lock up your brakes. It's a big old recipe for disaster. If you pick your braking points cautiously, you'll have a safe run out. You'll be in control the whole way and the brakes, the suspension, the tires, everything can be working as it should be. So if you get a little too excited towards the end of the rock roll and just decide to let off the brakes full throttle and you're picking up a bit too much speed, could be a recipe for disaster. I've got a little example of what that could look like. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I really hope I've made rock rolls a bit easier and a bit more achievable for everyone out there. Don't forget though, ride within your limits. It's super important right now. And any sort of progression session you're heading out to hit, make sure you're doing it in a safe, controlled environment where you're in control the whole time. Thanks for watching again. And hey, if you have anything you'd like to see in the future or any questions about what we did today, let me know in the comments below and I'll definitely have a little read through.